Hi, this is Mr. Gamble. It's Tuesday the 14th of March. Uh, Cheltenham is finally here and uh, today we're going to be having a look at all the races um, to see if we can find some real value out there for people. Now, uh, the first race we're obviously having a look at is the 130. Um, and the horse we like in this is River Wild. Um, he's highly progressive. He's still improving. Um, He's probably not the, the best ever, um, but he hacked up last time out. Um, and those above him in the market um, have shown nothing to suggest they're any better than he is. So at 8 to 1, he looks like a good option. Um, in the 210, um, we have uh, the best horse that's running at this year's festival in Altior. Um, he is absolutely astonishing horse um, potentially he will be as good as uh, sprinter sacra um, and realistically unless he falls then he wins um, but at one to four uh, he's not really a bet so if you're going to have a play in this race um, it may be worth having a look at a straight forecast with royal cavalier um, we definitely haven't seen the best of Royal Cavalier. Um, he was going to absolutely bolt up, but for falling at the last fence last time out. And that was in a half-decent race. Um, he's got a great chance of beating everything else in this race other than Altior. Um, and you could end up with a straight forecast that uh, potentially pays uh, 4 5 to 1. Uh, in the 250... Uh, this is our nap of the day, um, and the horse we're interested in is Hollywell. Now, Hollywell is simply a gold club class horse. He's running in a handicap. He's already a multiple festival winner, and he's absolutely thrown in on his old form. Uh, he was a nap for us last year. Um, unfortunately, he finished second that day to Anton Portu, um, but he's still another nap again for us today uh, last year the pet pair finished miles clear of everything else um, and the winner from last year is now 12 pounds worse off today um, which i strongly believe is uh, too much for him to carry we're not worried about this season's form uh, john joe o'neill will undoubtedly have him ready for today and the 12 to 1 that's available looks absolutely massive in the 330 um, it's the champion hurdle. Uh, we've got to be honest, this looks like a very average renewal, uh, unless something uh, really pops up that we haven't really seen so far. If Altior had run in this, he would absolutely have demolished them um, and would probably have started odds on. Um, there doesn't seem to be any of the superstar hurdlers of recent years, um, and even the favourite looks to be more suited realistically to two and a half miles rather than two miles. With all this in mind, the horse that really really jumps out is footpad he's definitely still not fully exposed um, he's very likely to be as good as many of the favorites um, and that makes him massively overpriced at the 20 to 1 that he's available at in the 410 um, we quite like jer's girl um, in all honesty, we would have tipped Colin's sister for this race, but she's a non-runner. Um, Jill's girl looks to be just as good as the three horses above her in the market. She's likely raced, um, and at 12 to 1 can potentially spring a surprise to the big three. Uh, in the 450, um, this is a good race. Um, there are some very useful horses in it. Um, massive runs are expected from Beware the Bear, Big Bad John, Ed Wolf, and probably Genie in a Bottle as well. Um, but Beware the Bear, he does look to have a bit of extra class. Um, he is very likely to go on to much bigger things off a much higher rating next year. Um, he should have no problem with the trip. He's got a top amateur on board. Um, and uh, and we expect a uh, a really good run from him. Um, with all of that in mind, seven to one uh, does look like a great price. 
Uh, and finally, in the 5.30, um, we're interested in Mix Boy. Um, he's no superstar, uh, but he is a nice horse. We definitely haven't seen the best of him yet, um, or what he can really do. Uh, he runs for a brilliant young trainer, um, and we're sure that his handicap mark has been kept low for a big run at Cheltenham in this race. 20 to 1 is way too big, um, and he does look like an each-way banker. So the nap of the day is Hollywell in the 2.50 um, at 12 to 1. Um, that is our nap, um, but hopefully you should at least have a bit of fun with some bigger-priced other horses in the other races. Good luck for today.